A Chandler nurse spent her summer caring for COVID-19 patients until she was diagnosed with the virus herself. Months later, she is still sick. She is still out of work. Emma Lockhart joins us live with more on her experience. Emma. Well, the 53 year old mother says her life has been turned upside down. She says her symptoms vary day by day, but oftentimes are debilitating. Now the nurse isn't sure if she'll ever be able to return to the career she loves. It kind of makes you feel like you're a little bit going crazy. Sandy Iskandar is a COVID-19 long hauler. It's been six months since she contracted the virus. Obviously, it's changed my life a lot and <laughs> turned everything upside down. Iskandar believes she was exposed while caring for COVID-19 patients in the ICU. She fought the virus while isolating at home, but never fully recovered. As things started to seem to get better, new symptoms would pop up. The once active mother of three who worked 12 hour shifts over summer now finds it hard to do simple tasks. I can, can't even make cookies. I put them in the oven, I set the timer, I turn around, pick up my purse and I go to the bank. Totally oblivious to the fact that I just did that. Iskandar says her symptoms include brain fog, neurological issues, dizziness and debilitating headaches. It's very frightening to know or to think about what my future is going to be like. There's no real treatment. Iskandar worries for other frontline healthcare workers as our hospitals fill up with COVID patients. But a silver lining during this dark time is finally in sight. <laughs> The, the vaccine is the key. It Officials say Arizona could receive a vaccine shipment as early as mid-December. Frontline workers are top priority. The county is going to set up centers for health care workers to get the vaccine um, in one central location distributed based on where they work. Family physician Dr. Andrew Carroll says doctor's offices and pharmacies will get the vaccine soon after and distribute it to other high-risk groups first. For Iskandar, a vaccine could have protected her. She hopes going forward it saves others from living her reality. Anything that we can do to, you know, help protect the people um, in the front lines, you know, is wonderful to me. And Dr. Carroll says the general public, meaning people who aren't high risk, could be vaccinated by April or May. Guys, back to you.